I really don't know if you're like me, but a study of King Arthur can seem to be academically fraught, whether he's a myth or a legend, whether he's a fact that has actually been distorted in history. I'm an archaeologist and I'm an experienced archaeologist and academically qualified archaeologist and I have seen King Arthur mentioned time and time again. So as I walk out and do these videos every single day, you might think, am I obsessed with King Arthur? The answer is no. I got so many different things I do every single day. But one thing YouTube wanted me to do was these daily King Arthur videos because it helps my channel and it helps them and it's good for the algorithms. The biggest problem is when you look at King Arthur in the modern era is which camp are you in? Are you in the Black and Wilson camp? Or are you in every other academic, archaeologist, historian camp? Like Ronald Hutton, like Jeffrey Ash, like even the likes of Alcock. Which school do you fall into? Now, the problem is whenever you mention Black and Wilson, it's either, oh my God, you're a Black and Wilson. Uh, person or you could equally be one of the others and the problem is the biggest thing that stems up in the work of Black and Wilson some people absolutely think it's absolutely nonsense all of their work every single book that they've actually published but when you actually look at the work of Black and Wilson there's actually a lot to it there's actually a lot of academic stuff there however not academically accepted the biggest problem is when we look at the Black and Wilson work is that they were actually making waves in the 1980s. And this video is a bit longer today. I hope YouTube liked this. And don't forget to subscribe and like, please. It makes this a great deal better experience knowing pe more people are watching it. So the work of Peterson Supermontum, Brynna Lanharan, is work that is tainted. It was work that was undertaken by Eric Talbot, the Arthurian Society on land owned by Black and Wilson. The problem is, when I look at the work of Eric Talbot, he's academically sound, he published loads of his stuff. Unfortunately, the work of Peterson Supermontan wasn't published in its entirety. And I'm worried about that. And it makes the, the work of Black and Wilson tainted by the fact that the, the, the excavation work at Peterson Supermontan wasn't actually completed to a publication academic level. Not even in Archaeology Wales, not even in any of the magazines. It's nowhere, really. Little snippets on the internet. I'd like to know what people think about that. And let's have a little bit more of a dive into Peterson Supermontan tomorrow. Lan Haran Brun. If you've been there, let's have your comments. Anyway, that's my long recording today. So they're going to be on for two or three uh, minutes. Um, and YouTube might think, oh, it's not long enough. It's too long enough. Or three people will watch it. I don't know. But keep subscribing. Keep liking. This is Carl James Lankford. Love you all if you've got this far. And don't forget that my live show is next year. My live show is next year um, taking place in Astrogalis, Lampeter, Abergavenny, Brecon and Chepstow ticket link down below. It's www.carljameslankfordproductions.studio. Thank you very much. Keep watching.